Welcome inside Kauffman Stadium. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Detroit Tigers going up against the Kansas City Royals. John Chavi and Chris Singleton with you. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars in the sport. Bobby Witt Jr. Yeah, Boog, he's one of the pillars of this lineup. And when you have a guy like that that's so consistent and so productive, you want to make sure you can do whatever you can to get him to the plate. Get him as many at-bats as you can in a ball game. If you do that, you've got a really good chance of scoring a lot of runs. All right, first pitch coming up. Now the starting pitcher in this one, Daniel Lynch. Well, he's been giving up a lot of hard contact this season. I mean, coming in, guys are hitting comfortably in the high 200s. So many times there's some bad luck, but then also there's just a little miss here or a little miss. Daniel Lynch is not an arm I'm super familiar with, but he's put together some all right numbers to start 2024. They do need to go back to the PS2 days where if you don't have the current gen console, you just don't get the new releases. Uh, PS3, they kept uh, relevant for a little while, but not... I mean, we're going on year 5. <laughs> I mean, I want to say... Actually, we might be going on year 4. I don't know, but I just know that the PS5 has been out and it's readily available now. Matt Fearling going to look at strike one. Royals a game above 500, fifth in the American League wildcard race. It's still a little bit crazy that we're looking at that this early in the year, but is what it is. <clears throat> Fouling away for a quick 0-2 count on Matt Fearling. Five-pitch pitcher is Lynch. Ooh. Should have been strike three. Does not get the call. Ooh, wow. <clears throat> I can't even really be mad. I cannot even really be mad about that. For more authentic gameplay is uh, part of the reason. Um, the other part of the reason would just be because I'm used to it. It's what I've used forever. We're going to smack one foul. Torkelson goes six foot one, 220 pounds. He's knocked in nine over his last 10 games. Take that. One and one on Torkelson. That would be impressive if <clears throat> it's uh, exclamation point directional. But Red Wings isn't entirely new to the channel, so I won't hit him with the command. I used to get asked to use zone so much that I have a chat command that explains why. Or at least what was part of my reasoning. The wind of the pitch. Three and one to Torkelson. And a chopper. Torque not fast. That'll be out number two. <clears throat> yeah, I, I just don't play a lot of online. I don't feel the need to just use whatever everyone thinks is the best when it comes to the controls. I just use what I like. And, next up for the Tigers. and it's it's actually really funny to see just the difference in the discourse when it comes to control choices. Whereas, <clears throat> like, in MLB, using, um, using the meta is just widely accepted. Using what is the, the what is going to probably give you the most success is just accepted but then you go over to the golf game and you have the your three clickers out there which is uh a lot less skillful uh there's a, a lot less that can go wrong that way and in the golf game communities both in 2k and ea people hate the three clickers which is just hilarious to me Riley Green, ground ball up the middle to Bobby Witt Jr. It'll be a 1 2 3 first for the Tigers. And even though we yapped a little bit, I feel like that was a relatively short inning. 
watching Major League Baseball on the show. Wii Remote Mode. <clears throat> you know, oddly enough, I was always really bad at Wii Golf. Back here with my pal Siggy. I was, I was, uh, I was a monster at Wii Bowling, though. Well, he brings into this one an excellent strikeout to walk ratio on the season, and when you consider the amount of swings and misses. What have I told you? I'm a three clicker. See, that's the thing. I don't. <clears throat> I'm not a, a, a part of the people that shit on anybody for their control choices. I'm just the kind of person that's just like, do what you enjoy. Um, you would, if you ever got like a hole in one with three click and posted it on the internet, you might get shamed. <clears throat> okay, well, this umpire's on fucking crack. Jesus Christ. Sinker in the zone. I mean, for real, what was that call? And a drag bunt, and thankfully, foul. And one and two on Garrett Hampson. Pretty great speed. One, two. Just missed. It's a good take. I was actually kind of hoping that if the top of the zone is small, that the bottom of the zone would be a little bit bigger. Strike zone might just be a little bit skewed. That is not the case. Full count to Garrett Hampson. Try a sinker. Least entice his swing. And he fouled it off. Royals had a couple at-bats last night where they fouled off pitch after pitch after pitch. And we walked him. Lead off walk for the Royals, now Kyle Isbell. And in the air, Mark Canna. Won't have to go too far. 90 speed for Garrett Hampson, so somebody we're going to have to keep an eye on. <laughs> so now Bobby Witt Jr., Nelson Velasquez, their DH, batting 204 and batting in the four hole. Salvador Perez again bats fifth. Vinny Pasquantino drops down the order today. He batted second yesterday. Rip foul by Witt. Eight home runs. That is indeed tied for first on the Royals. Forget who he's tied with. Slider fouled away. Two strikes on Bobby Witt. <clears throat> we did not get many strikeouts yesterday with Matt Manning. And that isn't going to happen again as that somehow evades the bag. The throw from Wenzel Perez not going to be nearly in time. And with one away, runners on the corners on a weak single for Bobby Witt Jr. As I was trying to move over there with Javi Baez and he just kind of gave up. It's a good curveball there from Flaherty. It was below the zone. And a fastball too high, and that is, once again, very in line with what the Royals did last night. They had a great eye. Pulled foul. No, not an ideal start at all. Cutter, that's a gross pitch. Well, Flaherty actually usually starts fairly well and then struggles for an inning late in his outing, but there's a strikeout of Velasquez for out number two, and he's going to have a chance to get out of this. If anything, this is more of a Reese Olsen type start. Salvador Perez launches foul. Sinker also foul. Flaherty with a chance to get out of this inning. Whatever that is that just passed this house just made it vibrate. <clears throat> Whole house is fucking shaking because somebody doesn't have a muffler. Baez throw to first is in time to end the inning. Yeah. 
Relatively stress-free third out as well. Only one hit for the Royals after the leadoff walk. Back here at Kauffman Stadium. Here's Mark Canna. Home runs in back-to-back -back games now for Mark Canna. And a good swing on that one there. But fouled away. Just a tad out in front, the game says. That one may have been a little bit too late. Daniel Lynch, not a great fastball. 91 to 95. No, we were even further out in front of that one. <clears throat> okay, well, three straight fastballs was not on... Um, not on my radar. Wenzel Perez bats fifth today. Still didn't boost his attributes. Good sinker by Lynch down and in. Fouled away. Eyes are tired. Jesus. Side to side effectively. Love being on the mound with Ross calling balls and strikes, boo. Wenzel to right. It'll be out number two on a relatively deep fly ball. <clears throat> not great to not, not be able to keep your eyes open there for a second in a baseball game when you need to basically have them open at all times. You just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Cole Keith averaged right at 300. In the box now, no balls and a strike. And you can see why. Last six games, nine for 22. We see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have picked Chopper. Oh, tricky hop there, but it'll end the inning. Six up, six down for the Tigers in this game. Pasquantino, Frazier, and Melendez. No, it's probably under 300 now. Pasquantino signed my jersey. And yeah, Mark Canna had a good day for you yesterday. <clears throat> and there's a strike. That point total ever increasing. Except the except when it decreases. Sinker in, two strikes on Pasquantino. Her ball on the ground. Backhand play for Bias. Adam Frazier with one gone. Well, it's the beautiful thing to pick the stick is that it's a long season and uh, you can score like 20 points in one day if everything goes according to plan. Fouled away again by Frazier. Royals with a lot of foul balls already. Not a great slider, but fouled away. Try a cutter, a little backdoor cutter. That wasn't very backdoor. That one is taken deep to left field, and Adam Frazier. With an opposite field home run. Hey, it was funny. You actually asked how Parker Meadows was doing in AAA. And then after that, right after that, like that night on, on Facebook, I saw that he was actually hitting pretty well and has hit two home runs in AAA. Yep, Frazier Oppo tacos us. Not the most convincing home run you're ever going to see. Only 95 miles an hour off the bat. MJ Melendez. This is now 1-0 Royals. And that one in the air. Wenzel Perez on the run. He's got good speed, but that ball's carrying at the warning track, basically at the base of the wall. But Wenzel Perez runs it down. Maybe. 
If the Tiger's calling back up, I, I something tells me he's got to sustain that for a good bit to get the call back up. Especially because Wenzel is actually like doing really well in uh, in the majors right now. Two out spaces empty. So unless they traded like a Veerling, probably not. Not for a little bit. One and one on Drew Waters. One of my least favorite stances we've seen this year. Curveball in the dirt. Swung on and missed. Throw it again. Nope. It is the leg lifter. Fastball pulled well foul. Slider maybe. Got him. Second strikeout of the game for Jack Flaherty, but Adam Frazier goes deep. Not as bad as it could have been. One nothing Royals through two. Just a good opposite field type swing. That face. That is the face of a powerful swing, I guess. I don't really know. Jake Rogers batting 266. Looks at ball one inside. Former third round pick acquired by the Tigers in the Justin Verlander trade. That's a deep fly ball to center field, but another one that's going to stay in the ballpark. One away in the third. Tigers cannot break through. Well, Javi Baez has had success against lefties as of late. That fastball at 93, underneath, was Baez. And sinker chopped third base side. The throw from Hampson, there are two away. Do need anyone to have success. This is a pretty shit start on offense. Up now for the Tigers. And a bond. I mean, it's just throwing strikes. It's just another one of those things where I'm probably swinging a little bit too much right now. But continues to throw strikes for the most part. He's in or around the zone. It's a quick inning. We're going to have to make him work a little bit more here in the uh, next couple. Otherwise, he could hang around a while. Top of the Royals order due up now to start the third. Garrett Hampson. Lead off walk in this game, and he looks at ball one. And now two and Sinker missed inside two. Games and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Fastball in there. God damn. <clears throat> Well, we have had a nice run, back-to-back -back games of double-digit runs, and he just tried to drag bunt on a curveball out of the zone. That's a bit of a bailout. Fastball missed our spot badly. Remains two and two. And popped up. Moving over is Andy Abanez. For out number one, but man, oh man, are they making Flaherty work here in this game. Kyle Isbell with a fly out back in the first inning. So, so long ago. And that's ball one again. We'll take it. <clears throat> Royals fans not a fan of that. Fastball popped up again. We got a lot of pop-outs lately. Veerling underneath. Bobby Witt Jr. with a single in the first inning. A little bit, I don't know. Maybe that would explain our struggles 
to hit the ball hard right now. Fastball tailing over to Mark Canna, but he's there to make the play. Well, a nice response inning from Jack Flaherty. He sets down the Royals 1 2 3. Top of the Tigers' order due up in the fourth. We're already in the fourth. Set for the start of the inning. Now it's be 3.11 average for Matt Feerling. What a series he had in Arizona. As he turns on the rubber, Only 23 pitches through three innings. So we're going to want to make Lynch work a little bit here. Definitely try and be a little bit more patient. Fastball may have been late on it. Yep. That's about as good as Lynch is going to throw it. And a ball and two strikes. That one missed. Really good takes. Tried the same thing on Veerling with two strikes in the first. That was in the zone that time. Got called a ball anyway. That one out of the zone. Called as it should have been. Second time I've struck out with a righty. On a fastball just inside, and Lynch is loving that fastball right now. One away for Tort. Late on 93. He doesn't have a cutter. I don't know why I thought it would have been. It just looked like it was going to move as one. Oh, Tort. But you guessed it. Once again, two fastballs to start off Torkelson. That might be a good plan for Daniel or Daniel Lynch. Because whenever he throws that breaking stuff, it's getting us way out in front. Two away for Green. I tried to hold back. This is a rough game at the plate thus far. One on one. Take some balls. Well, we just took one. <clears throat> Left hand hitter waits. Now two and two on Riley Green. Oh, do we get to finish him when it's two two? Dude. Impeccable command in that one. Three batters, three strikeouts. That's electric stuff out there on the mound. Can't do that again. <clears throat> Holy shit, that was awful. Well, see, the thing... You gotta see, the thing is... I play so many sports games, I can't be good at all of them. I have to be average at all of them. <clears throat> you guessed it, popped up again. Andy Ibanez in foul territory. Open level Valeno... <laughs> Open net Valeno levels of awful. I can't disagree. Salvador Perez with one gone. That is not a good sinker. Not good location on it. I could not believe that when that happened. Rang the post, sat on the goal line. Curveball got him. Throw down from Rogers, two away. Third strikeout for Jack Flaherty. Yeah, see, I played too many different types of games as well to be good at any of them. 
Misses just off the outside edge. I think that was Repeating the Soroka experience? I'd be more worried about the Kodai Senga game. Although Soroka did have a nice run in that one, too, where he hadn't allowed a hit. <coughs> Senga just took his farther. Pasquantino with a two-out base hit here. Third hit of the day for KC. Adam Frazier went deep his first time. That's a miserable cutter. I might as well just take the cutter just out of the repertoire for the rest of this game. It, every time I've thrown it, it sucked. Sinker in there. I mean, Flaherty is just firing bullets all over right now. Oh, the Kodai Senga game was not fun. Curve ball, chop foul. Try backdoor slider. Two outs. Got him. That's the inning. I don't complain. I think they said he swung on that as well. <clears throat> I can't say I agree with that, but in a game like this, we'll take all the help we can get. Canna, Perez, and Keith do up. Tigers looking for their first hit here in the fifth inning. Yeah, that might have been a blown call both ways. We know the location wasn't in the zone. Ball one to Mark Canna. That's ball foul. You know we don't know what we're doing here today when we're late on 93. Good slider. We got backdoor slider. One and two. <clears throat> I was really worried that was a fastball or even a sinker. I was going to hit that corner. It did not. Canna battles. Two and two. 41 pitches now for Daniel Lynch. I won't complain. And we're going to take a walk we probably don't deserve there. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with a free pass. Now the batter now, Perez. He's 0 for 1. Wenzel Perez 0 for 1. Floater, right center. That'll be caught. Perfect game prevented. No hitter still on right now for the Royals. I don't know if anyone knew this. The Royals have a no hitter going right now. And here is Colt Keith. Grounded out his first time. And back up the middle. It'll be played by Witt. And not only that, it is a double play. Lynch has still faced the minimum through five. Back here in Kansas City, ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now the left fielder, MJ Melendez. Can't be up again before the eighth. Ah, uh, for my sake, I hope you are. There's a strike. Let's hope our offense gets hot. Does something. Because this game is still so winnable. Fouling away there by Melendez. Well laid on it. Got him. Missed our spot with the fastball, but the fifth strikeout for Flaherty, which is already more than we had in yesterday's game with Matt Manning. I mean, that's always possible. Maybe not today. Not the way it's going right now. 
Fouled away by Drew Waters. Ah. Next offering is in for a strike. One ball, two strikes. Slider pulled. That's a fair ball. That's a fair ball. It's getting into the Down into the corner. May go for three. Yes, he is. The throw from Cole Keith. Not in time. Triple with one away for Drew Waters. He had good enough speed. I thought he might take a chance at it. I actually thought we had a good chance to throw him out. Throw came in, I think, before he had even rounded second base from R Riley Green out there in right field. But so up now for Kansas City. Garrett, Garrett Hampson with one gone. Good speed. Could lay down a bunt. Who knows? There's a strike. Well, sinker, middle of the zone. Not ideal, but two strikes. That one into right field. This is going to be a tough double off for Riley Green. Throw is not going to be in time. 2 nothing, Kansas City. Well, if this is anything like the Wings game, maybe now we'll start the fight. Time for an 8-6 final score. Is yet another questionable call behind home plate. Sinker on the ground to Andy Abanez to end the inning. Royals add on another. <clears throat> Two runs on four hits for the Royals. The Royals are still throwing a no-hitter. Always a good candidate, especially with a lefty on the mound to break that, is Jake Rogers. An absolute missile foul. And a pitch. One on one. And that one, left field, Jake Rogers goes deep. And not only breaks up the no-hitter, but gets that run back. Twelfth home run of the year for Jake Rogers, and he just missed a pitch earlier in the at-bat that he hit hard foul. Out in front on that. This one got out of here in a hurry, and yes, it did travel 463 feet. That's a good one. <clears throat> that about landed where I heard the Oakland Athletics announcer say, this one's got a chance. And yet, <laughs> the ball was, ball was blasted off of that scoreboard in left field. That was hilarious. I don't know her name, but she's so terrible. <laughs> she has to be remote broadcasting as well. There's no way. No way that she's in the stadium. This has no feel for the emotion of a game at all. Ball one on Javi Baez, one and two. Close one. Thought we had to protect. I don't know if we did, especially with the top of these strike zones not really being, being called straight up, but your eyes light up on ones like those, and you can hardly ever hit them. Well, so the thing is, is that every time I hear a clip from that announcer, she's always calling a home run by Brent Rooker. 
in the air from Andy Abanez. Hanging curveball, but Abanez doesn't hit it hard at all. That's out number two. Or what was the other really bad one? It was like the second inning of a 0-0 game. So I think it probably was Brent Rooker that uh, that homered. And it's a solo shot. It's one nothing. And she's like, that changes the score drastically. <laughs> I should just start taking strikes, man. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Good balls to swing out. We just ain't doing much with them today. Jake Rogers does homer, though. First Tigers hit of the game, so the no-hitter pressure off here in the sixth. That was damn near the same spot as that home run from a night or two ago, whatever it was. 67 pitches for Flaherty. In a perfect world, we're able to get him through six, but I'm not certain we're going to be able to. So we will get our bullpen ready. Will Vest, Tyler Holton, everyone available today outside of Joey Wentz. Who pitched a couple innings in last night's game. Oh, well, I didn't really want the fastball, but sure. 70th pitch from Flaherty. He's fouled away. Curveball now. And a perfectly thrown curveball. Bottom of the zone. Six strikeouts for Jack Flaherty. Nelson Velasquez with one gone. Yeah. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Remember when I said I was going to retire the cutter for today? Up the middle. Sinker. Bit of a tough play for Colt Keith. Watch out for the throw. It's a wild throw. And an error for Colt Keith. Confusing error because he did set his feet actually. Salvador Perez. Probably the first good cutter we've thrown in this game. Yeah, just just remind him that we do actually have five pitches. It's just that one of them is terrible. And in the air, Mark Canna tracking back. Canna puts it away, two down. Just pulled off of it a Out number two here in the sixth, so good chance that Flaherty's going to be able to get through here. Vinny Pasquantino, one for two, one for six in this series. Sinker in. Yup, pretty much. And down the line, that is a fair ball. Canna cuts it off. Baez throw, not even going to matter, as Veerling's not covering the base, nor should he have been. Back-to-back -back singles. Pasquantino's second hit of the game. And now, do we let... Do we let Flaherty face Adam Frazier? I mean, he had the opposite field home run to make it one nothing. First pitch curve. Pitch him a little backwards. Does not chase that. That sinker tailed right down the middle. Oh my god. Cutter fouled off. Leave it to Flaherty to only really get the cutter going when his day is about done. Slider just missed. Chopper to Andy Ibanez is going to tag the bag himself to end the inning. Two on Royals as we head to the seventh. Did you do the Tetris? Yes, I beat the Mega Tetris. 
I've been trying for what a week. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Spencer Torkelson. <clears throat> well, here's Torkelson to lead off the seventh. As the lefty gets to work. That one misses. Ball one. one. We've done such a bad job on the pitch count for Daniel Lynch. And a chopper right to Bobby Witt Jr. Good throw, one away. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. The hell was wrong with Torque's neck there? Looked like his head was like, but his neck didn't really move at all. I don't know. Really weird. Good lord. Ball one to Riley Green. I get, we might as well just try and take until he throws the strike. Just to get his pitch count up. No, that didn't last very long. This pitcher's done a good job of disrupting the hitter's timing with the mix of pitches and changing speeds. You want to keep that front foot inconsistent for the back. And Riley Green. Left center. That'll be caught. A lot of power out of these Tigers bats here today. Jake Rogers, the home run. That's about it. I mean, to be fair, that is our only hit of the game. But also, just even our outs. I mean, usually by now we have a couple hard hit outs. <clears throat> Fastball up to Mark Canna. And on the ground, and the Tigers have their second hit of the game. A single for Mark Cano with two away. Everything came together for him. There's nothing cheap about the way he got it out and through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't wonder yeah. like he was. Mark Cano has been probably one of the better bats in our lineup. Manager out of the dugout now. Oh! And it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Well, forget running up the pitch count. Daniel Lynch is going to come out of this game. Interesting decision. I guess it ensures that he will not lose this game. But now it'll be up to the bullpen to pitch out of this. Yeah, for real, do you, yeah, do you even throw 70 pitches? <clears throat> All righty. Carp uh, Carpenter is an option. Probably not for Wenzel, though. Softly, but that goes foul. Trying to hold a one run lead here in the second game of the series. Oh, one and one on Winslow Perez. So the outfield defense will play a little bit deeper just to keep the ball in front, make sure that runner on first doesn't come all the way around the score and tie this ball game up. Oh, yeah, sure. Slurve in the zone, called a ball. Two and one count on Wenzel Paris. Ripped foul. Yeah, this has been terrible. Consistently terrible, though. It's not the reason we're losing, and it probably won't be the reason we win. It is not Woody, although this is a very Woody Keller-esque performance. That's a really good protect on the slurve. <clears throat> Three and two. Fouled away again by Wenzel. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. In the air, but shallow. It'll end the inning as Kyle Isbell's underneath it. And this remains a 2-1 game. They're down two to one. Melendez, Waters, and Hampson do up. And we're back. Now, MJ Melendez. MJ Melendez. Lefty, switch hitter, righty. Doesn't really matter who we uh, put in here. I'm going to set us up for a better... Uh, 
potential end to this inning and throw in Will Vest. Game number 20 on the year, ERA just about at one and a half, 1.4, 31% strikeout rate and averages against both righties and lefties, both well under 200. Will Vest has been a very reliable middle reliever here for us in 2024. That's a called strike there on the sinker. Slider gets Melendez on three pitches. Efficient there out of Will Vest. And now Drew Waters, who tripled his last time up, scored a run. Second Royals run of the game as that is launch foul. Quite possibly. I mean, they've been they've been blowing calls left and right, though. So much so that I haven't really kept track of which ones have been for us or against us. As that's a ground ball to Ibanez by Waters. Two away here. Good inning thus far out of Will Vest. Fastball in to Garrett Hampson. 0 for 1 with a walk. And back up the middle. This is going to be a tough play for Javi Baez. On the run, he made it. 1-2-3 inning for Will Vest. Keith, Rogers, and Baez are due up. Welcome back in a new arm of the mound to start the eighth. Nick Anderson. Well, the best relievers Nick Anderson on for the Royals here in the eighth. Cole Keith 0 for 2. And ripped foul. We may need a pinch hitter. We may also need some bullpen action. Lefty, righty, righty. Let's go with Shelby Miller. We could push Vest farther, but we don't. He can pitch tomorrow. Got to manage our, our stamina, both in pitchers and in the field and in the lineup to get to our next day off next Tuesday. Cole Keith, left field. He's hit it well. That one traveling, and it is gone! Cole Keith with a wall scraper to left field to tie the game. This Tiger team against bullpens this year has been on another level. We can struggle against the starter, and then this bull, and then a bullpen arm comes in. And this team will wake up at times. That's about as shitty of a home run as the Royals' first one. Well, they're only one. Jake Rogers now. High fly ball. Hit fairly well, but it will not carry out even with the wind. A 2-2 game here in the eighth. Once again, it was a 2-0 game. Red Wings and Rangers earlier tonight. It was a 2-0 game, Royals and Tigers. We know what happened in the hockey game. And that one fouled off. Doubt this finish is 6-8. Hey, maybe if we go a couple uh, a couple extra innings. Always a possibility. With the extra innings rule these days. Two fastballs from Anderson to Javi Baez. That's a four-seamer well high, well away. See if he goes curve here. Nope, he went fastball and just a little bit late and foul. Nope, not so much. Two home runs in this game and then one single with Mark Canna. Yeah, I even knew it was happening, but I didn't know he threw it that well. Thought he hung it. It was perfect. Yeah, Canna, the only one that's actually 
been on base and stayed there for a minute. Andy Abanez with two gone. There's the huh. We really haven't given the, the ump a uh, chance to screw us at the plate. We've been swinging at almost everything in this game. As aforementioned. 0-2 on Andy Abanez. Went with the fastball foul. All tied up here in the second game of the series. Good thing that missed the zone. <clears throat> we are struggling to keep our eyes open again. It's a good foul. Just yet another perfect 12-6 there. From Nick Anderson, but Colt Keith goes deep to tie the game. Not much offense on either side. Royals have a couple more hits, and then, of course, the one error for Detroit. I would love to change pitchers. In moves Shelby Miller. Game number 19. ERA under one. Struggles against righties a little bit more. It's Kyle Isbell, bats from the left side. First off, bring it just misses. Fouled off. First Tigers pitcher with a splitter here in this game. Fastball well located and well called for once. Slider chopped on the ground to Cole Keith. He did not get on that very quickly. Took a couple steps up and let it come to him. Bobby Witt Jr. with one gone. Hey. Splitter foul. Kicks and fires. Perfect time to try the slider. Gonna try and throw it a little bit more elevated. And maybe that was a mistake. Wenzel Perez on the run. Got it. Basket catch there in center. Couple of long running plays in this game for Wenzel Perez. Nelson Velasquez. Fastball in. No, it, it, it will work occasionally. He didn't throw that one very well, and that one I tried it again. We actually missed with it a bit low. Fastball, foul. Try that again. In the air. Wenzel again. To the ninth we go in a 2-2 game. We got to sweat out every game we play tonight, don't we? Oh, we got some fog rolling in here. Again, it's been foggy like three days this week. It's foggy this morning. All set to start the ninth in this one. Here's the third baseman, Matt Veerling. So easy to look at the big boys in Matt Veerling. He has been a pleasant surprise all season long. Where is he play? Hold on a second. Where is he playing in today's game? Maybe trying to slow things down here. Third base. <clears throat> Give me Carp. Now AJ Hinch making a move for a pinch hitter. Carry Carpenter to pinch hit for Matt Veerling. 16 home runs on the year. 349 average. If, um, we, well, actually, I think regardless, the plan here is going to be to move Andy, just swap positions between Andy Abanez and Kerry Carpenter. Kerry can play first, and Abanez, I do believe, can play third. In the air, center field. Kerry Carpenter's given one a ride. Will it go? No! 
Warning track shot for Carp. We nearly did it with the pinch hit lefty for the second time this week. Zach McKinstry did that in Arizona. Swing and a miss at a high fastball with Torkelson. Torque is due. The righties in general are due. They have struggled um, ever since the, the right-handed bullpen arms have come in. Curveball will miss to Torkelson. It's a 1-2 count. Should be easy to pick up on what what each pitch is going to be. One down, base is empty. Oh. Now two and two. Kind of. Most. We do have Riley Green do up here. That's a big spot. We're going to head to the bullpen here. Get a couple different uh, plans up. Tyler Holton, if we don't take the lead here. And uh, Jason Foley, if we do. Wow. <clears throat> Nick Anderson with that 12-6. It's so tough because I'm like you're looking at it and it looks like it's plateaued. It looks like it's a fastball coming right in at you that you have to protect against and falls off. Ball one to Riley Green. 0 for 7 in the series is Green. If anybody's due, it feels like Green is. Riley Green fouling away. Yeah, a little bit. Leaders losing points. Everyone else that played today gaining. Ah. Finish him. I'd rather you didn't. One and two on Riley. And a base hit for Riley Green. Well, bring up Mark Canna here. Just one of those seen eye base hits through the infield. We just kind of rolled over on it a little bit, but sometimes those can find a hole and get you a knock. Mark Canna's going to have a chance. Now here's the Tigers cleanup hit. One for two in this game with a walk. For two. Swing and a ball. Another fastball, not the best to swing at. <clears throat> and we'll strand the go-ahead run on third. Perez, Pasquantino, and Frazier. I believe all guys with hits in this game. Maybe not Perez. Let's just head over here. Carpenter and, yep, Andy Abanda is actually his primary position is third, so that works out perfectly. And then Carpenter is secondary is first, so that'll do just fine. Salvador Perez is actually 0 for 3. We'll head to the bullpen and go with Tyler Holton. Change up will miss. Holton is a little bit of a dangerous one to throw out here. He does not have great velocity. That cutter fouled off hard by Perez. Sinker also foul. Saying Perez and not meaning fat Perez is kind of funny. I was watching Bob do sports earlier. Some good stuff right now to Salvador Perez. Fouled off again. Sinker maybe? I don't know. He's out of the zone. He's fouled it off. Come on. 
Backdoor slider. Try something. Ah, fouled off again. <laughs> Maybe we should have let Will Vest handle Perez. And a pitch. Change up. <laughs> Uh, this will be pitch number nine. You guessed it. Pitch number ten. How the fuck? Any suggestions on what else to throw here? A miserable slider is what finally retires Salvador Perez. Got him way out in front. Vinny Pasquantino with 101. Popped up. Down the left field line, Andy Ibanez. He's got it. And there's two away. Two gone. And we just have to get through Adam Frazier, who did homer earlier. Oh! This is not true. In comes Mikel Garcia with an eight-game hit streak and a 356 average. <laughs> However, eight RBIs, so that is in very minimal. Playing time. Fastball for a strike. Cutter in to Garcia. He let off in yesterday's game. Change up and a base hit. The Royals play a little bit of my game. Potentially sacrificing a hit streak to go for the win. And Mikel Garcia extends that hit streak. Not great speed here. Fastball in from Tyler Holton. Slider foul. Try a little front door cutter. And he rips it into right field. A base hit. Riley Green's throw over to third. A little wild, but it didn't matter. They didn't advance him. And now this is getting dangerous here in the bottom of the ninth. Two singles to right field here. Dyrone Blanco. I'm not really sure what that does. <laughs> I mean, if the if the lead runner scores, you win the game anyway. Switch hitter is Drew Waters. And on the ground to Cole Keith. Need a good throw and we'll get one. Over to first. We are playing extras. extras. Royals strand a pair. And this game is still tied at two and two. Wenzel Perez, Cole Keith, and Jake Rogers do up. That means Mark Canna is the runner at second base. So they bring on Carlos Hernandez. We faced him yesterday, and he's got great velocity. We only have Jason Foley up. I'm not going to schedule him to be in the game until we take the lead. Shot foul, slider at 88. Fastball we saw last night can touch 103. Slider down and in. I'd be lying if I said I didn't think about swinging at that. Yeah, well, make a two and one on Wenzel. We've seen this in our extra inning games this year, where they do like to use that open base. 
Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Wenzel fouls off a fastball at 102. After being laid on it, Lord knows where he goes. And a fly ball to left. That is not where we want that. One away here in the 10th. So now it'll be Jake Rogers, and although his power does decrease significantly. Oh, no, I lied. It's Cole Keith. Rogers do up after. Cole Keith pretty solid against both righties and lefties. And he popped it up. Oh, my goodness. That is a splitter at 91 right down the pipe. And Cole Keith didn't barrel it up. Oh, it ain't looking pretty here. Rodgers, our last chance in the 10th. A little out front there as he swings through it. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there. Don't ask why I took that. Yeah, we're in we're in rough shape here. Let's stand out or step out here rather and uh, head to the bullpen, warm up by Edo. Rodgers stays alive. Fastball at 101. It's even worse that we have a reliever here in Hernandez who can throw 103, but also has four other pitches. Too much. Strikeout for Jake Rodgers, and now the Royals will have a chance to win it in the bottom of the 10th. Yeah, uh-oh, indeed. So Garrett Hampson is the batter. Drew Waters is at second, and Waters has good speed. Oddly enough, Fiedo is ready. 19 pitches for Holton. Let's just throw Fiedo in now. Not who I'd love to use, but maybe our best chance is that changeup misses high and inside. Fastball is going to get crushed. Two pitches in the bottom of the 10th, and the Royals win it. Whoa. Well, it wouldn't have mattered had we scored anyway. <laughs> Two-run home run for Garrett Hampson, the leadoff hitter. Royals win game two of this series. And he took that pitch on. He took that pitch away. Granted, elevated away. And pulled it. I, I, I don't really know how. That's one hell of a swing. And that'll do it. So we will have a rubber match tomorrow. Trying to avoid our first series loss on the year. Hernandez, his fourth win. Tyler Holton lost number two. Tough luck loss for Tyler Holton. And uh, Royals win this one 4 2. I think we have, uh, we got Reese Olsen on the mound tomorrow.